Hi everyone. So I have already um, plugged in uh, the new Xbox, the Halo edition. As you can see, it is uh, right there and it's already connected to the TV. So now I'm going to grab the controller and press the Xbox logo to see if it will uh, automatically pair to the console and turn on the device. Okay guys, so now that I have the controller, let's press the Xbox button. Okay, let's, okay. It was already paired. Okay, that was a really nice uh, boot up animation. Okay, so now uh, let's do the setup process of the uh, Xbox uh, Halo Edition. Okay guys, so as you can see here, it says uh, set up with the Xbox app, configurar con la aplicación de Xbox. So basically, it's saying it in different languages. So we can either uh, get the app to set it up, so I can, or if you don't want to use uh, the app to set up the Xbox, uh, you can press uh, this button on the controller, the one that has the three lines. Uh, so we can skip it okay so we're gonna be pressing that okay there you go now it says hi for ease of access press and hold the xbox button okay so now here we're gonna pick, uh, pick the language so i'm gonna be using english okay so now let's continue so now press the a button it says but what variety of english so we're gonna go with uh, the united states and it says your network is connected. So next uh, is saying that because I connected uh, my Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Limited Edition console through the Ethernet cable. So that's why it's not giving me an no option to connect uh, to Wi-Fi. So now let's tap uh, the A button so we can continue. Uh, where do you live? So in the United States. Let's update. The size of the update is about 1.2 uh, gigs. Uh, connect time charges my apply. Uh, some apps might update later, so start update. So now let's see how fast uh, this update is going to download since I have uh, Verizon files. So I have the one gigabit connection. Okay, so now let's tap where it says start update. <laughs> so we're back so the download of the one uh, whatever gigs it was a uh, pretty quick uh, it just took its time verifying the update and then updating the Xbox and now we're back and it says press and hold the Xbox button to turn on your controller okay so we're gonna press and hold there you go so now let's wait for it to connect uh, to the Xbox and now it's telling me to press the A button Okay, so now let's continue. It says here next, you will sign in with a Microsoft account. If you don't have one or want to start fresh, make it now as you set up your Xbox profile. Already have a gamer tag, sign in using the Microsoft account for that profile. Okay, so we're gonna press the A button. Okay, so here uh, you're gonna sign in uh, with your email that you have uh, for your gamer tag. Okay guys, so then after you have uh, inputted your email and password, then it's gonna come to this screen and it says how we use your data. We collect required diagnostic and other data necessary to keep your console safe, secure, up to date and performing as expected. So you can either hit where it says tell me more or just hit where it says next. Level up your gaming experience. When you share optional data such as app and feature use, console activity and enhanced error reports, you help make your console better. Here's how. Got goal or ultimate. We will tell you about new games and give great uh, recommendations. We work on improving performance so you can spend less time waiting and more time having fun. More info means faster fixes. You are first on this console, 
So your selection determines whether optional data gets shared when no one is signed in. You can change this later in, in the console settings. So you can type whatever you want. It says uh, legal stuff, no thanks, and yes, amen. So I don't really like sharing my experience. So we'll be just selecting where it says uh, no thanks. When we share data with publishers, we share usage data with publisher of the games and apps you use. We collect data only while you are playing a game or using an app. This helps publisher provide their services, improve and support their games and apps and connect you with others on the Xbox network. To learn more, the data we share with third party publisher, their privacy uh, practices and how to stop sharing info with them. So, uh, select, tell me more or just hit next. Okay, now it says my game attack, hey Guillermo War. We found the settings from your last Xbox, including system preferences and accessibility. You can change them later. Want to apply them now? So I will be selecting no thanks because I would like to start everything fresh. So I don't want to copy no settings from my previous uh, Xbox. Okay, so now it says here sign in and security preferences. So we have three uh, options. It says no barriers. Okay, so it says on this box, uh, on this Xbox console, people can sign you in. You see your data on web pages that use your Microsoft account, change your settings and buy things without extra steps. Then we have ask for passkey. Uh, we will ask for your passkey before you sign in, buy things, launch Microsoft Edge, or change the settings. And then we have lock it down. You will need to authorize sign in, buying things, launching Microsoft Edge, and changing uh, settings using your Microsoft account. So I'm just going to leave it on the first one, no barriers, since I will be the only one using uh, my Xbox. How do you want to sign in? Use instant sign in to be ready to play as soon as this Xbox console is turned on. Only one person can use instant sign in or link the controller you are holding to your profile and we will sign you into this Xbox console as soon as the controller is turned on. Only one person per controller can set this. Okay, so we're gonna uh, use, use instant sign in. Okay, so now it says this Xbox console comes with Halo Infinite campaign. It says available included uh, with this device so since i have the xbox series x halo infinite limited edition console it comes already uh, with the halo infinite uh, campaign uh, so i can uh, get it so now i'm just gonna tap where it says uh, claim it so it can start uh, downloading the game and hopefully i should be, be playing this game uh, next month on december Okay, so now it says uh, success. You can access and manage this content in my games and apps. If this is a game or app, we will start installing it for you. If this is a subscription, you can start using it now. Okay, so hit where it says done. Okay, so here it says discover your next favorite game, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, $1 month, one month for $1, renew at $14.99 a month. Uh, 100 plus games on console, PC, phones, and tablets. New additions all the time. Plus day one releases. Play games from the cloud. EA Play library on top of top EA titles and rewards. Xbox Live Gold online multiplayer with friends. Uh, perks like in-game add-ons and partner offers. Member discount like up to 20% off select games complete quest to claim Microsoft reward points. Okay, so here I can either head where it says join now, all the plans, use a code, or then uh, no thanks. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna be doing uh, this uh, later. Okay, so I'm gonna be hitting where it says uh, no thanks. Okay guys, so now you have to choose uh, your time zone. So basically, you need to change this. It should be either on the negative four or negative five Eastern time. Uh, okay, there you go. Eastern time, uh, US and Canada. Okay, it says here automatically adjust for daylight savings and then 24 hour clock. So no, I just prefer the regular one to 12. 
So then we hit next, choose the console slip mode, says energy saver, uh, lower power consumption about 20 times less than standby when the console is not on or updating, environmentally fr uh, friendlier, then standby uh, consumes more power uh, needed for remote uh, features. Um, so I guess I'm going to go with uh, energy saver. Keep your games and apps up to date. Your console will automatically will update automatically, so it is ready uh, when you launch it. So keep my games and apps up to date. So now let's hit next. Let's go. You're all done setting up your Xbox console. Time to play. So now let's see where it says uh, "Take me home." Okay, guys. As you can see here. We have uh, successfully done uh, the setup process of the new um, Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Limited Edition console. So now, as you can see here, uh, the campaign is almost done downloading. Uh, and now I'm going to download the multiplayer one. Uh, but that will be all for this video. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please click the like button. You can subscribe to my channel to get more content. If you have any question, please leave it down below. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.